Hello everyone, I'm Rec V5. And I'm Sandman99, your color commentator. And we're back with Hot Shots Golf 2. And today, I figured we'd do another versus mode. Because I'm somewhat eager to uh, unlock some more characters. And you're not using Sam with beginner clubs? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, the, with the way I've been playing lately, maybe I should. Uh-huh. But, uh, no. Oh, and you're gonna play on course four. Yeah, the course I hate. I'll probably lose this mat this versus mode just because I'm playing on this course. Well, we'll just have to see what Sir Dan does. Well, Sir Dan uh, hits the ball 248 and uh, he's bad in the rain. You oh, see how he only gets 92 to 100% of his power off the tee in the rain? Yep. He also gets a really tiny impact zone in the rain. Mm. Other than that though, he has very good control for a character who is a power hitter. And uh, he hits the ball low with a draw. So if you wanted to pair him with big air, big air clubs, he can hit the ball 262 and that makes him very, uh, very effective character. And that's assuming, though, that you can hit the ball straight without shanking it, right? Huh. You can always hit the ball Ooh. straight without shanking <laughs> it. Huh. An ultra shot. Wow. Hey, with how m bad my putting has been lately, man, I need to get it like that close all the you, time. You, you need it to be within two feet, hey? Mm -hmm. uh. Who knows? Maybe I'll even miss that. Well, it looks like Sir Dan's going to get a chance at a 27-foot putt for birdie here. It looks like he'll make it, too. Maybe. Think so? No, I didn't hit it hard enough. Uh, well, we got close. That's okay, I'll take this early victory. Yep, take an early lead. Well, has it stopped raining? Yep. It only took one hole to stop raining, from, yeah. like, torrential downpour to, uh, sunny day, apparently. Wow. I guess the weather changes, uh, very rapidly in the Pacific. Apparently. Hmm. Well, Sir Dan, so far, is hitting the ball dead center every time. Yeah, a lot of these higher level versus mode characters are gonna start doing that. There will come a time when they basically won't miss the impact zone. He's going for the green. That he is, and he's going to hit it too. And be relatively Holy close God, to the hole. Oh my goodness, that's on the green! So, Albatross for the win? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not even going to hit the green. That's going to be uh, short and to the left. Oh. Well, at least it's not in the water. Oh, my goodness, that's well, that's about as close as I can go. Yep. Either he'll... Well, he's not going to make this. Yeah, he didn't even gonna, play the break. He, and he hit it way too hard. He missed that putt. He missed that putt by a lot. Yeah, that was a terrible putt. Look at that, he's 11 feet away again. Oh, he's gonna, <laughs> aiming the wrong way again. He's going to three-putt this green. Wow, look at that. See, it makes my putting look like something to, to write home about, right? Yeah, I guess he must have been <laughs> an inch further away than you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you managed to get two up early. Yep. Even though you misplayed your second shot on that hole. Well, you gotta go for it. It's better to go for it than to not. Yep. It also shows that just because you go for it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get there either. True. Oh boy, that was almost a hole in one there. Oh my goodness, that's I didn't quite get as much power on that as I'd wanted. Yeah, and you spun it 
so that it was quite a ways away from the hole, actually. Well, the reason why I hit it that way is so that I could get the extra loft to make it over the rough at the front of the green. And as a result, it uh, because I under hit it, normally I would have been in the front rough without uh, backspin, right? Uh -huh. But because I had that extra carry, even though it <laughs> drew the ball backwards, I managed to get over that hazard. Is he going to miss this putt too? No. Oh, he almost did. If he'd have been a couple feet further <laughs> away, he would have. Yeah. Oh, he's got... Uh, that's his birdie animation, eh? Yep. <laughs> Swings the putter around and around. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's bunker bound. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I even aimed to the right in order to try to avoid that, but it just didn't matter. And this is a really bad hole to hit this bunker on. If wow, you hit he, this bunker... That, even Sir Dan's shot rolled quite a ways to the left there. Well, if you hit this bunker, you're basically almost guaranteed a bogey. Because you're in no better position after this shot than you would be if you'd have just hit your tee shot. And uh, this is a very hard green to land the ball close to the pin on. And they've well, got it. He in, didn't quite make it on either. Uh, they have it in like the worst pin position too. Yeah, looks tough. Well, I managed to take a little off it. I don't know if I took enough off it. Oh, well, that was just about the perfect shot right there. The only way it could have been better is if it had gone in. Now we just need to hope Sir Dan doesn't chip in. Yeah, nope, he missed. And he actually hit that way too hard. Yeah, because now he's further away than you and putting first. Well, the thing about the AI is, though, is... Uh, even though at Sir Dan's level they won't, at higher difficulty levels they kind of become like uh, robo chippers. So like they can't putt for shit. The AI will never get better at putting. They'll always never be able to putt for shit. <laughs> uh huh. But they'll get to the point where like if they miss the green somehow, they'll always chip in like almost every time. It's uh, ridiculous. So you want to root for them hitting the green in regulation every That's right. time, right? That's right. So every that they time. can two putt. That's right. Well, that wind carried you a fair ways to the right. Yeah, I suspected it probably would. But I'm still playing the uh, uh, averages. Yeah. So, like, in case I shank it to the left. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have to play yeah, right. he put himself in the bunker. He might be okay, though, because uh, he's not bad in the bunker. Yeah, and he rolled in, so... Wow, that's a strong wind. Yeah. I may have overplayed it without the super backspin, though. If I had the super backspin, it would have carried, like, another 15 feet to the right. Oh, well. Wasn't a terrible shot. Oh, boy! <laughs> that was close. Well, we'll have to see what he does with this, though. Yeah. He put it in. Yep. <laughs> Inches away from putting it in the water. Like I he... said, you gotta you gotta hope for them to hit the green in regulation because if they don't, then they're starting to get up to the difficulty level where uh, uh, they'll just chip it in. Yeah. Well, you gotta try and steal this one away from them now. Oh, I missed it to the left. No, you may. Oh, that was so close. Yep. Fifteen feet is just too far away. Too far. Oh, look at this. So now he's going to screw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except he's still going to hit the fairway with all the strong wind. Yeah. And it ended up being a 250-yard shot. Oh, 
Well, I never hit a super topspin shot on this hole before. Well, you did all right. Holy cow! This nice is going to be an okay shot. It'll be about 50 oh, feet from you the, hit the slope. You see the slope there to the yep. right of the green? Oh my goodness! He's like a green. mile away. <laughs> so, something to think about. Well, it's better to hit the right side of the green than it is the left, because you hit the left side of the green, and you could possibly end up in the water. Yeah. But if you hit the right side of the green, oh you just roll down the slope, and green. that's really not that bad. Well, you have a slightly less long putt, putt to make than he does. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't play that break enough. No. <sighs> but you're real close. See, because it flattens out as you get to the top of the slope. Yep. But I wasn't sure to oh, what degree. Oh, you missed it. Oh my god. I wasn't sure what degree it, to to what degree it flattens out at the top of the slope. It's that sandbag AI. I'm gonna win that hold, this hole because of that sandbag AI. Yeah. Well. He was hacking away with the putter there. <laughs> Like I said, you hope for them to hit the green in regulation. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good shot. That's going to be to the left of the hole. Maybe not. No, that was a perfect really strong shot. Wind. That was a great shot. It was a super shot. I wonder how strong that wind is. I thought it was uh, like maybe a 6 or an 8 mile an hour, but it must be like a 10. That looks like it's a pretty strong wind. And he played that way to the left and then pushed it. So now he's going to have to chip in, right? Hey, don't laugh. He might. Then yeah. again, he's got a low shot trajectory, so these shots actually screw the AI up a little bit. Yeah. No, he didn't chip in. You still have a chance to win this hole. Yep. With my awful shot. Oh, boy. Well, he made the par. All right. Well, that was a decent putt, at least. Maybe I'm finally starting to shake this putting thing. Well, you did all right on this one, anyway. I have a philosophy on this hole that it's better to try to hit it over the water than it is to try to play up safe. Because if you try to play up safe and you shank it, you're going to go in the water. If you try to play it over the water and you can hit it far enough, then uh, you won't ever end up in the water no matter how bad you hit your shot. Uh, well, you made a good shot there. Oh, he made a perfect shot. Holy yep. Cow, nice shot. It was a nice shot. 12 mile an hour wind at your back. That's why that carried so far. Yep. <laughs> See, I almost think they hit the impact zone a little bit off center sometimes on purpose oh my to, goodness, to counteract the effects of wind and that kind of thing, right? Uh, sometimes I suspect so, yeah. It, it almost looks that way, because on that shot, it looks exactly like what he did, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, too bad. Well, you end up closer than him. Yeah, it's still oh a bad shot. Not it's not within, like, seven feet. Uh. If it's not within, like, seven feet, it's probably a putt that I'll miss. Uh, he made this one. Or you just play it kind of the way he played his. I don't know, he's putting, the, pre pre almost putting in, the pressure on. Yeah, you're almost in line with one another, so... Ah. Uh. 
like I said, he's putting the pressure on. Yeah. If I have to putt more than seven feet, I just can't do it. And it's funny, because I, I actually don't remember having as much trouble in later games putting as I do in this game. Well, maybe they changed it up in later games. I know in uh, the Hot Shots Golf 3, I think it is, that's when they in introduced uh, those bunkers with the vertical walls. Yep. Right? Oh, they also introduced uh, moving lines on the putting grid so that uh, you could tell more easily the speed of each part of the break everywhere across the green. That's going to go in the left rough, I think. Yep. But you're pretty close, anyway. Okay, well, I got a bit more of this than I wanted, so I'm going to be, like, 30 feet from the hole. Ooh, or off the back. Yeah, off the back. I wanted to take uh, only about uh, three or four notches off of that, but because uh, I wanted to play the percentages, but unfortunately, it's just not how it worked out. Mm. Sweet Tooth pulled that one to the left because of his bad control, because he's only got a B control rating with the big air clubs. Yeah, but it looked like it was going straight at the cup anyway. Nah, it was going to miss to the left. Even if I'd have hit it the perfect distance, it would have missed to the left. Ah, my bad play. Yeah, play better. This is going to be Daryl all over again. Holy cow, nice Daryl job. all over again? Yeah, just watch. It's going to be Daryl all over again. Yeah, he could go for it here, but he's not going to. No. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna have about a... Yeah, a pitching wedge or sand wedge away. So you're gonna go for it. Oh, always. You should always go for it. Even if you miss... The consequences are less than the consequences for going for it. Well, if that hangs on there, you'll be in good shape. Yeah, now I can oh, two-putt for a birdie and maybe tie game. this hole. Yeah, or <laughs> you maybe can sink a long putt for, our, for an eagle here. Oh my goodness, that's on the green! Oh, I hit it too hard. Yep, you're well. You're overplaying your brakes just a little too. Hey? <sighs> oh, no, well, he, he missed. hit his a lot too hard. So, huh. so you still have a chance to win this hole somehow. But I guess I'll take it. Well, it's that putting, you know. Gotta be good at putting. No, you don't gotta be good at putting. You just gotta never fuck up and put the ball further than two feet from the hole, ever. Yeah. But since that's not possible, you that gotta be good at putting. That is absolutely possible. Putting. I insist that is possible. Mm. Once in a while, maybe. I know I'm aiming way to the right here, but it's because uh, Sweet Tooth has that weakness in bunkers. If I hit that left bunker there, I'm just basically screwed. Holy cow, nice shot! Well, you're both in about the same place. Well, we do both hit the ball about the same length. Not really any surprise.
I needed that. Oh! If you hadn't uh, super backspun that, it would have gone in. I needed to uh, uh, get the super backspin there, though, because I, I need to land the ball uh, without roll. So, like, I'm trying to fight the break on the green so that the ball doesn't roll. And I just want it to stop and play dead every single time I hit it. Because the more it rolls, the more it will roll further away from uh, the hole. Wow. You know what? When he misses, he really misses. Yeah, but he'll make this just fine. Well, you've restored your three-point lead now. Yep. Holy cow, nice I might have overhit this, though. No, not quite. Looks like he's going to play a three-wood, too. I'm not the only one playing Holy a three-wood on this hole. Nice Although it's not like he would miss the impact zone. But then again, he also got a big boost from the uh, wind there, too. Odd, though. I didn't think he'd end up further away than me. It must just be the pin placement. Could be. <coughs> well. He managed to not get stuck in the bunker, but that's a strong wind. It is, but it's also tricky because you don't want to overplay it because it's uphill, and so yeah. the wind will affect your ball less. It's very tricky. And I want to hit super backspin here anyways because that's a very raised green. If I can't hit super backspin, I'm going to hit that front rough edge. And there's just no escaping it and no getting around it. Well, you made it. I could have played the wind a little bit more, but I guess that's all right given the circumstances. Yep. Chip oh, that, he just chipped in yep. again. Yep. Twice in one round. Yep. I don't know. That's a little bit suspect. When you watch him putt the way that he does, and then you <laughs> see him do this. That's just what the AI is like in this game, man. Mm. Like I said, you gotta hope they hit those greens in regulation. Oh, it didn't break at all. It kind of sounds and smells like BS to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do think that the AI is programmed in such a way that they have like a, sco a fixed score that they play to. And so regardless of how bad they play during most of the round, they'll always play towards that fixed score. Yeah. And then right away, as soon as he wins a hole, he comes out and he's very, very likely to screw the pooch, eh? Yeah. Of course, uh, I guess I should say too, there is a bit of variation in the way the AI scores in this game. Because uh, even though they'll try to screw the pooch, some of the higher level AIs are so good that uh, when they try to screw the pooch, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see if he's going to chip this in too. No, nope. nope, not quite. Still though, I have a very, very hard putt ahead of me. This is not an easy green. Well, he made that putt. Ah, nice one. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to go less direct at the hole, right? Because on some of these greens where I've been uncertain, I've just slammed the ball at the hole and hoped that I can hit the hole. And I'm trying to avoid that this round. Because it's really bad practice. It's a good way to miss greens. Well, if you miss the cup when you hit it that hard, you'll have a 10 or 12 foot putt for your next one, right? That's right. Yeah. If you're lucky. 
Yeah, that's going to be in the left rough. Better to be in the left rough, though, than it is to be in that uh, bunker there. Because at least I'll be able to hit a club that can take me to the green from here. Well, he's going to be right there with you. Nope, because he's hitting the three wood. Oh. So even though he shanked it, he'll shank it a little less. I see. Shanks with uh, higher lofted clubs, generally speaking, are not as severe as with lower lofted clubs. That's why, for example, even if I have, like, this five iron, if I shank it, it's not the same as, like, going off the fairway with the driver. I suppose that adds a little bit of realism to the game, but I think I just hit this off the back. If I get a good percentage, I will. If I get a bad percentage, I'll be fine. Well, it looks like you were, uh, pretty good there. You don't get that, uh, nice bite from the super backspin, though, coming out of the rough. You actually more or less just get, uh, your standard fairway backspin trajectory. Yeah. Because everything you hit out of the rough comes out low. Yeah, it slows it down a little bit, but it doesn't make it stop, right? That's right. Look at that. That behaved as if it was straight in, right? <laughs> he didn't play any break there at all. Yep. Now the AI knows all the flat spots on the green too, eh? Yeah. Oh. I thought I'd played that fine, and I even really didn't try to power that in or anything. I think you got to start slamming them in there again. I don't so know. So when you misread the break a little bit, it'll still go in. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna go in the left rough. Probably. No, Maybe not, because I have a three room wood. There. You got lots of room there. I got a three wood out, so. <laughs> I might have missed this a little oh, bit to the left. Oh, nice shot. A little bit long too. I didn't expect to be oh long. Goodness, that's on the green. Since I did down club. Oh my goodness, that's on the That's got to be one of the best spots on the green to be in. Yep. Cause it's very flat. He didn't but hit he that did, hard he enough. He didn't hit it hard enough. <laughs> He blew it. Okay, slam it. Oh, I hit this way too hard. Oh my god. Ugh. Well, a little suspense. It looks like Sir Dan is going to be the first uh, player to take you the distance here. Okay? Maybe. Maybe. Although, it's been no good play on my part that's led to this. I think this is probably one of my worst and shakiest rounds. Well, he just put himself in the rough over there. It's very hard to hit this fairway, especially with the high wind. Mm. I took a forward there to try to ease my chances, and even I had difficulty hitting it. Well, that wind has made it very, very tough today. Because you seem to have it blowing at all sorts of oddball angles, and it's been strong, and... You know, like you've been fighting that too the whole round. Well, that's kind of the advantage of a character like Sir Dan, though, right? He's not going to get affected by the wind nearly as much. Well, he just blew that one right off the back of the green. Is he going to get a third chip in? God, I hope not. Yes. Oh, that's just too fake. Come on. 
That's how it goes, man. I'm telling you. That's a flaw in the game design, I think. <laughs> because you know what? Nobody does that three... No, even golf pros don't do that three times in one round. But we'll just slam it in. That's right. I told you. Slam it in. <laughs> you need to hold him off when he does those... Two of the holes that he's won have been those chip-ins, right? Yeah, but that's just how it goes in this game. Ooh, that's gonna be off the back. Yeah, that's just another chip-in opportunity <laughs> yeah, for him. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm glad he's, somebody sees this game the way I do He's now. better off there than he is on the green. <laughs> yeah, he is. From the way he's putted. Oh, this is gonna be short. I needed to get full power on this. I don't know, it looked to me like it worked out pretty good. I'll have a downhill putt. Uh, curving to the right. Yep. See, he's going to take you right to the limit. Well, I think you got, a two, you got a two putt to win the match here, though. Yeah, I do. Well, you won the match. That's it. He took you to 17, though. Yep. Almost the distance. Almost. So, the toughest opponent yet. Yeah, Sir Dan is a fairly capable golfer, but yeah. uh, so they'll gonna... get way tougher than this. I guess he's kind of a difficulty spike up from Sweet Tooth, too. Yeah. But uh, they, they will definitely get way better than this. So is it going to be Sir Dan in the uh, tournament next time? Huh. Oh boy, that would be very difficult. Yeah, you got lots of time to practice, though. Uh, well, <laughs> the big problem with Sir Dan is that uh, normally, under normal circumstances, I'll use big air clubs and big air ball in order to compensate for his low shot trajectory so that I'm always hitting a higher lofted club to the green. But we don't have the big air ball yet. We haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, <laughs> excuses, excuses. Hey there, people out there watching. Do you want to see Rec V5X play Sir Dan in the next tournament? So, uh, if you do, then comment and <laughs> yeah, give drop, us a like. Drop a comment down below. Yeah. All right. I'm Rec V5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.